I'm going to show you how to paint this really simple Christmas card using just two colours. Let's get started. For a full list of all the materials I'm going to be using in this tutorial, please see the description below. Just click more. So I'm actually sketching a really simple sketch with my HB pencil onto cold press paper and I'm drawing in the star. So as you can see there, I've just drawn a sort of an upside down triangle without finishing the bottom and then drawing a horizontal line across the top and then joining up both the corners there. So it's really nice and simple. And I'm just sketching in the trees to the left here. So the tallest line first and then they gradually get shorter and it's to create a bit of depth in the painting. And I'm just sort of got some little V shapes here getting larger as they go towards the bottom to represent the branches. I will be painting more detail, but it's just so you've got some sort of structure to work with. So it's a very simple V shape. And I'm just going to draw some lines to the right hand side. So I'm going to mark in and paint in wet in wet later some distant trees. I'm going to use masking fluid to mask out the star and the distant stars. If you don't have masking fluid, don't worry. You can use white gouache later on or white paint. So I'm using a brush dipped into liquid soap and I'm applying the masking fluid, as you saw there, to the star and now spattering on the sky area to create random small little stars. And I'll put a link in the description below of two tutorials I made, one about masking fluid, the other about spattering. So I hope you find that helpful. And I'm going to allow the masking fluid to dry naturally. Once the masking fluid is dry, I'm mixing up a puddle of Prussian blue using my size six brush. And then I'm using the Prussian blue with a touch of the neutral tint to make a sort of a very dark gray blue. I'm using my size 10 brush and I'm wetting the paper with clean water from top to bottom, giving it a good soak. I'm going to paint the washes wet into wet, starting with that Prussian blue. You can use phthalo blue or turquoise or even cerulean, painting that wet in wet in the foreground. I'm going to use a little bit of that blue now and painting wet in wet in the sky area using my size 10 brush a little bit more neutral tint and the Prussian blue painting wet in wet at the top there. Getting slightly creamier colour now and painting this dark wash damp into wet right towards the middle of the sky using my size 6 brush. I've mixed up neutral tint on its own here and I'm using the size 6 painting damp into wet this darker colour so it'll really bring out these light stars later on. And I'm using some of the neutral tint with a touch of the Prussian blue painting wet into wet the foreground area there. You can see it's all running up. I'm just adding a little bit more neutral tint on its own right at the bottom there. So it's really dark. This really does create some depth in the painting. I'm just taking some of the excess moisture off there and I'm painting these distant trees to the right using my size six brush, working damp into damp. So it's a much paler color. So to make sure that you don't have too much moisture on your brush, because you could create backgrounds, take that excess off on the paper towel. So I started off with some vertical lines for the tree trunks and then just going sideways to create the illusion of foliage. So I'm using my size two brush now, just building up, working damp into damp with this slightly darker color. And this is a mixture of the neutral tint and the Prussian blue and just painting sort of wavy horizontal lines to sort of give the illusion of the foliage. And I'm just gonna paint some vertical lines right back through damp into damp, just to give a little bit of structure to the tree there. I'm just going to add a little bit of dark at the bottom, still working damp into damp. The paper's all still damp still, but just sort of a little bit of dark there, just above that lighter area where the snow is. And just using the tip of my brush just to add a few more details. So I'm using a little bit more of a creamier colour now, less water, more paint. And it's, it's mostly the neutral tint with about 30%, the Prussian blue, painting the vertical lines, first of all, with my size two brush and then painting the foliage, those sort of V shapes there. So just get that sort of structure 
painted first of all and take your time still working damp into damp of course do wipe any excess off on the paper towel so you control the moisture on your brush because if the brush is wetter than the actual surface of the paper you're in danger of creating cauliflowers and blooms so I'm just adding a little bit more now of that neutral tint mixed with a pinch of the Prussian blue and just filling in at the bottom half of the tree there, still damp into damp. If your painting has dried off a bit, don't worry, you can just paint a little bit of wet on dry here as well. So just filling in this dark here so it's a lot more fuller at the bottom of the trees there and you can see more spaces in the branches at the top and I'm just using the tip of my brush just filling in a little bit more to make the trees a little bit fuller and painting in some of those verticals as well just to make sure I've got that structure and adding a few extras as well so you can sort of try different things out it's quite nice but these trees obviously are a lot darker than the trees on the right hand side still working damp into that but the paper has dried off a little bit so you can at this stage if you want to dry your painting so I'm just sort of painting a really dark wash in the foreground and just softening and blending with my sort of wet brush just at the top of that wash there just blending so it the, the tonal value graduates so it gets lighter as it goes off towards the tree line and I'm just darkening the sort of bottom of the trees again working damp into damp just using the indigo so mostly paint with a very small amount of water there as you can see a close-up there just really darkening up that area I couldn't resist painting another sort of smaller tree here so just painting the vertical and then those wavy sort of horizontal lines um, it just creates that illusion of the branches there and filling in at the bottom. So I'm going to allow my painting to dry once more and I'm using a paper towel to remove the masking fluid and you can see all the stars are revealed. I've removed the washi tape as well and I'm using my rubber now, an eraser, to remove any pencil lines that I use to draw the star and for the horizon line as well. So I'm using some white gouache, you can use white watercolour or white acrylic and I'm spattering just the sort of foreground area um, just to create the look of snow and um, you could actually do this as well for your stars if you wanted to. So I'm just spattering the trees as well. So here is a close-up of my painting. Even though it's very simple, there's depth there and it looks very Christmassy. So I'm using a glue stick and I'm going to glue the back of the painting there around the edges and across through the centre. And I'm going to stick this to some card here. It's just ordinary card. You can make your own card using A4 card as well. And I'm just sticking that, centering it as well, making sure it's in the centre. And I'm going to use paper towel um, to put on top to press the painting down to the card to make sure that it's thoroughly stuck down. So here is the card now finished. Well, not quite. I'm just going to sign and date it as well. So here is the finished card and a close up. I'm really pleased with it and I really hope it inspires you to have a go at painting something similar and creating your own card. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please put them in the comments section. And if you'd like to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel where you'll get updates of my latest tutorials. And if you'd like to get access to my weekly exclusive tutorials, why not think about joining my Patreon membership? Details about the membership can be found in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.